hi my name is Leslie Torres and I'm doing my picture walk so I would first start my picture walk by showing the kids the book um, I would read the title The Grouchy Ladybug and tell them the author which is Eric Carle and I would ask them what did they think like the word grouchy means and like what they think about the picture in the front of the book I'll then start by turning to the book front cover the grouchy ladybug by eric carl then i'll ask them what they see in the pictures the students will respond like with the fireflies and the leaves they'll probably point out the stars with the moon and then this is where the book gets interesting so on each page they have like a clock on the top so i can always ask the students what time the clock is at so they will be learning time throughout the book and to tell time they can also tell me what they see in the book so the leaves and the sun and the ladybugs and it's talking about how this ladybug is talking to another ladybug and trying to get the aphrodites to eat and I can ask them what they see and how why is she so mean so then we come to these interactive tabs as I was talking about before so then I can show the kids these tabs again I can talk about the times on the corners ask the kids if they know what time it is that the ladybug is meeting this animal or insect and they'll talk about how they met the yellow jack which is like a type of insect and what they think this eats or where it does the sounds it makes and they'll be able to tell me it's six o'clock and then the ladybug flies away and meets another insect which is the stag beetle. I can have the students tell me what what they think this is and things of that nature. Also the time in the corner, which then it is seven o'clock. So the time goes up. And then the kids can tell me what they see in this picture, which is the praying mantis. And the ladybug comes across it at eight o'clock. And what they see in this picture then I can go to the next one which goes up to nine o'clock be able to tell me the time in the top corner and to tell me what type of animal this is it's a sparrow so they will probably say like a type of bird or you know something of that nature then we go to ten o'clock and they will probably say that this animal is a lobster we can say where does the lobster belong and so and you know stuff of that nature i will then move to the next one which is 11 o'clock and they meet a skunk so they will probably tell me the animal they can tell me the time how this makes them feel the colors they see then we move to 12 o'clock and the ladybug bumps into a a boa constrictor which is the type of snake they'll probably just say snake and how this makes them feel and them seeing the squirrel on the top and the snake trying to eat the squirrel then we go to one o'clock and at one o'clock she bumps into a hyena so they'll probably tell me what this animal is and the time it is and how this makes them feel then they meet the ladybug meets the gorilla so they'll probably tell me what this animal eats or where this animal lives the sounds this animal make and this is at one o'clock two o'clock so at three o'clock they the ladybug runs into a rhinoceros 
they'll probably tell me the animal the time as well as they will on the remaining pages probably talk about the colors where the rhino lives what it eats then at four o'clock she encounters an elephant so they could talk about what they see as an elephant what the elephant eats how big are elephants and also they'll talk about the time as well then at 12 o'clock she meets a whale so we'll talk about whales and things about like the parts of the whales because it'll show later on and the time as well so then she meets she bumps into the fin of the whale so they'll know that this is the fin of the whale and this would be at 5 15 so it's not like by hour now it's like 15 minutes and then it shows like the whole body part of the whale and then it says that she bumps into the fin which is the other part of the whale so they see the fin and the flippers, sorry, I got that wrong. The flippers and then the fin. And then she flew on again. Then she bumps into the tail. And this is the interactive tab, which I like because it talks about the ladybug slapping, the whale slapping the ladybug and going on to the next page. So then I could tell them what they see in this picture and how this makes them feel. And at what time then the lady or bug arrives back to where it first started and the other one offers the lady the grouchy ladybug food so the grouchy ladybug eats the food because it's hungry and then the grouchy ladybug goes to sleep and she dances around the moon and the fireflies dance around the moon and they can tell me what they see in this picture. And now she's not grouchy because she ate. And this whole time she was just grouchy because she was hungry. Thank you.